This video is aimed at the best practices for using a 301 or 302 redirect. We already have a full guide on how to create the redirects, which we'll link in the video description. A 301 redirect is considered a permanent redirect. You are redirecting page A to page B and have no intention of using page A anymore. This means that Google will transfer all the link juice and page rank from page A to page B. Here are five examples of when you'd want to use a 301 redirect. When a page's content moves or changes. The main reason people will use 301 is when a post or page moves to a totally new location. An example of this is when a website moves to a single page website. The site can merge their contact us, about, blog, and subscribe pages into one. All you have to do is set the old URLs to redirect to your homepage. When there's a typo or a bad URL. Sometimes the URL is just wrong. Whether you had a typo or imported post with an old slug format, this is a great time to use a 301 redirect. Performing an SEO audit. If you notice that you have some non-optimized URLs, a 301 is your way to go. You could change a really long URL to something much more effective. To create a branded redirect. Just like URL shortening services and tracking URLs, you may want to take an unfriendly URL and turn it into something branded for your site. If you have a Discord server, you want the invite URL to be easier to remember and share. You can create a redirect like discord.yourwebsite.com. Archive updates. You could take old content, refresh it, update it, or even rewrite it. And as long as you publish it under a new URL, you can just redirect the old one on the same topic to it. You could take the best fonts for 2014 and update it to top 2020 fonts. And you get the SEO power of the first post while also boosting your new post. What is a 302 redirect? A 302 redirect is a temporary redirect. By using a 302 over a 301, you're telling search engines that the page in question hasn't moved, that it still exists, and that you're just rerouting the visitors for one reason or another. The search engine then won't try to re-index the target URL to replace the old one. Google knows that you're just taking hiatus from that URL. There are far fewer use cases for a 302 than there are for a 301. Here are three examples for when you use a 302 redirect. When you are A-B testing a new site or design, when a site or page breaks for an unknown reason, and when your client or boss needs to give feedback on a feature or design. Just remember that HTTP code 302 is not meant to be used over a long period of time. And there you go. Now you know when to use 301 and 302 redirects. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.